英語聞き流しリスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語はホームページからお聞きいただけます。88thpp.com 88thpp.com Hi, I'm your host, Hitemi Woods. I'm reading an episode from the book I wrote titled An Old Tree in Kyoto. Today's episode I'll read is called For the Emperor. This is about my late grandfather who was a war veteran. For the Emperor. I watched the movie Flags of Our Fathers. It reminded me of my late grandfather on my mother's side. He fought battles in World War II, not in Iwo Jima, but in China. He was taken to Russia as a POW and was kept captive in the freezing Siberia prisoners' camp. It was four years after the war when he was released and returned home. He had been away for eight years in total. After he came back, he became a locally prominent man, being a mayor and working as a member of a board of education. People looked up to him. I've been treated with favor on several occasions as his granddaughter. In his later years, though, he suffered from Alzheimer's and he, he would shout, There came Russian soldiers! during the night or even at a restaurant. Writing about him recalled a peculiar incident. When I visited his house, I found that he had put up a big picture of the Japanese emperor in his room. I uttered, You have bad taste because I believed in democracy. He replied sadly, Hitemi, you should not say such a thing. I'd forgotten the fact that he was one of the war veterans. Who went to the war for the emperor. He was always so gentle that he rarely criticized anyone. That was the first and the only time that he reproved me. That was today's episode for the emperor. My grandfather was drafted, compulsor,、uh, uh, drafted when for the World War II. When my mother was,、uh, was still in my grandmother's belly. So. My grandmother was pregnant with my mother, and my mother hadn't been born yet. But before my mother was born,、uh, my grandfather was drafted, was a compulsory、uh, draft. From the government. And、um, back then, the draft paper, compulsory draft paper, is were called red papers. And、uh, mostly the family who received、uh, red paper. 
was um it was the worst mail they could possibly receive they uh, watching and receiving a red paper on their mailbox in their mailbox meant um death sentence so um like other families my grandfather's family members are uh, um desperate d- and uh so sad and they thought um my grandfather was going to be killed in the war and uh uh he fought in china and he um he got um taken away by russian soldiers and became a pow he was a prisoner in siberia <coughs> for a long time and uh during the the actual battle um because japan was losing the battle was fierce and so many japanese soldiers were killed and died uh during the battle beside my grandfather but although he survived the battles surviving in the POW camp was as hard as the battle itself because uh according to my grandfather surviving in POW camp in Siberia was so so difficult um first of all um Siberia was extremely cold and uh every morning my grandfather saw uh um f- fellow soldier froze to death next to my grandfather so surviving the night itself was so hard it was like um russian roulette roulette to survive the night not to breathe was the m- main purpose for the night sleep and uh in the daytime russian soldiers made POWs climb up the tall chimneys for fun for their fun um Japanese soldiers had to climb the tall chimney 
to the top because、um, the Russian soldiers were hitting with a gun, targeting them on the side of the chimney and hitting them from the ground for fun. So that they just、um, To escape the bullet, the Japanese POWs had to climb up the chimney. That was、um, a daily routine of my grandfather's POW life. So He had to find some way to get some special treatment from the Russian soldiers, not to be killed by them. He,、um, he thought of some ways. To flatter them and、uh, make them、mm, make them like, like him. And he tried to receive special treatments. So, to flatter and to please. Russian soldiers, my grandfather、um, my grandfather wrote some scripts for a stage and produced a stage drama for Russian soldiers. And、uh, it worked. Among POWs, Russian soldiers liked my grandfather because of the show he put up by himself. And、um, so, in the POW camp, he, he was a, a special, he had gradually. Become a, a special,、mm, special prisoner with、um, a little bit special treatment from Russians. And so he looked for the ways. Of surviving, and he realized that, and、uh, he tried to make his POW camp life easier with that special treatment, and he survived, and、um, one,、uh, he actually. Succeeded to come home.、Uh, while he was in the camp, one day he met a beautiful lady in the forest. And、uh, he asked her name. And that woman told him her name was Ray. And when that happened, he wrote a letter to my grandmother. And in that letter, he told her, told my grandmother that、um, to, that,、um, let's name 
the unborn child. Ray. The that was the time about when my mother was about to be born, and so he wanted that um, his newborn baby's name to be Ray, and so. Uh, he wrote a letter to my grandmother to do so. So my grandmother named the newborn girl Ray. That was my mother's name is Ray. And uh, when my mother was eighty years old, my grandfather came home. From Siberia, but because my mother had never met her father, that was the first time she saw him. To her, he was just a stranger. One day, a man. Came home, and he said, "I was your father." And she was confused. To her, he was a totally he was a total stranger, but from that day on, he was her father. So, um, according to her. My mother was so scared of him because he, she didn't know him. But he told her he was、uh, he was her father, and so after all, my mother spent. Eighty years without her father, because of the my grandfather's captivity in PO、uh, captivity captivity in the Siberia camp.、Um, and、uh, as I read. Today's episode. My grandfather.、Uh, While、well, he came home, he survived the war. He suffered from、uh, P.S. P.T.S.D. Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. When he. Um, got、um, got old, and、uh, he was、um, he once、uh, he was once a prominent man, but later years, in his later years, he suffered so much from. PTSD and、uh, Alzheimer's, and、uh, in his suffering of from Alzheimer's, every time、um, he、uh, when he became uncontrollable. It was about. It was because of Russian soldiers. For him, for him, he could see Russian soldiers coming after him, everywhere, every time. And 
in his in his later years, he had to escape from Russian soldiers every day. Everything that my grandfather suffered, or my mother's missing of her father, caused by the war, and uh, in Japan, the war was caused by the emperor because Japanese soldiers went to the war for the emperor. They were told, they were specifically told that the war was fought for the emperor. So, I, um, from my, um, from the days of my childhood, from, since I was little, I was naturally opposed to the Japanese emperor system. I, I, ha I have really hated that system. And I, it was um, criticizing the Japanese emperor system is a big taboo in Japan, even now. But I openly criticized from my, um, I have openly criticized the emperor system since I was a small child because I, I liked the hmm, equality, the impartiality. Since I'm, uh, I was, uh, I was little. I, I liked. Um, I believed that people should be equal. Um, it was so natural to me, but. Um, the emperor system was opposite to equality. Um, the emperor is a uh, um, decided by blood, by um, just their um their family where they were they were born in so it's a blood discrimination and also in Japan the emperor should be male so it's also um, gender discrimination. To me, every discrimination in Japan uh, is stemmed from the emperor system. So if the emperor system uh, was eliminated from the Japanese society, the disc discrimination in Japan would be uh, would be decreased, would be eliminated so much, I think. 
So I think、um, the, the emperor system is the source of the Japanese. Various kinds of discrimination. And because I believed that thought for a long time, I was so furious and angry and disappointed when I found.、Uh, Big framed picture of the emperor in my grandfather's room. I just so mad and criticized my grandfather for putting up that picture. And my grandfather looked so sad. By my saying, my criticism. I think that time my grandfather felt I criticized his whole life, I mean, his endurance of his. Difficulties of war. To him, my criticism was not just for the emperor's picture, but his war experience. He, f- he must have felt. I, through the, the emperor's picture, I criticized, I happened to. I didn't mean it, but I happened to criticize his, his hardships of his, during the war. And、uh, I didn't mean that, but In hindsight, my grandfather felt that way, I guess. And、uh, he, to me, the, the Japanese emperor is a symbol of discrimination, but For war veterans like my grandfather, it was not just、uh, the symbol. The emperor was not the symbol of discrimi- discrimination, but a symbol of something more. Something more. Uh, important values for them. But going to war for the emperor、um, made his life so miserable in later years. I Think、um, because of because I saw how my grandfather lived、uh, in his、um, when he became old.、Um, I I hate. I have come to、um, hate the emperor much more than before because that、um, 
suffering didn't end during the war. Didn't end with the war, but for war veterans, it went on and on and on and until they actually died. So it was, to me, the emperor has become a symbol of more evil things than discrimination. Well, that's all for today. Um, I'm Hitemi Woods. Thanks for listening. Until next time, take care of yourself and be well. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Ego Kiki Nagashi Listening, Ego Text to MP3 Download, Sono Hoka no Monogatari, Home Page Kara O Kiki Tadakemas. Hatch, Hatch, T, H, P, P, Dot Com. Hatch, Hatch, T, H, P, P, Dot Com.